So hello, today is Sunday and I have decided to go to the hospital and have my leg seen to. It's been a week now. Since my trip on Mount Doug. Hello. Hi. How's it going, man? Ah, not too good. <laughs> Where are you off to? The Jubilee, please. Oh, yeah, that's not a good sign. Sick? Not sick. Uh, I tripped when I was running about a week ago. Yeah. And uh, at first I thought that's ah, just a muscle pull. Yeah. And um, after a week I thought, man, this is not getting better. So I think I might have torn something. So I was going to go to the walk-in clinic at Gordon Head, but I thought, well, they're probably going to want to take X-rays or whatever. Yeah. So I might as well just go to the hospital. Yeah. Because they got all the equipment there. Yeah, the body doesn't heal up the same way it used to, does it? <laughs> That's what I find when it's just like. Yeah, but I'm 65. Well, you're doing good. Yeah. Do you think the running helped or hurt? Uh, I've fallen many times, but this one was the first time that I actually. Um, limped out of it, you know, I, I, when I stood up, I thought, man, this, this isn't normal. I was totally flat-footed on this leg. Yeah. I couldn't raise myself up onto my toe. Oh, wow. The other foot's good, but this one just doesn't, doesn't want to work properly. So I packed it up for a week, and no more running for a whole week, I just went to the gym a few times, and uh, went to the pool, that helped a little bit. Yeah. Did some pool walking. Anything that didn't involve my massive weight <laughs> helped. Well, being light is the way to go when you, as we get older, I think it's definitely. Yeah. But uh, the water helped. Yeah. But. Jeez, look at a bird. Like a freaking eagle for God's sake. Yeah, they do get pretty big. Oh, this book is the biggest one I've ever seen. You do take visa, eh? Yeah. Good. I'm going to make sure I have my cards with me, my medical card and all the rest of it. Yep, got the visa. Got my BC care card. Yep. Have you been driving all night? Uh, I've to. Really? Wow. I guess that gives you the afternoon off, eh? I could usually go 4 to 4. Uh -huh. So 4 in the morning till 4. And I just looked out the window this morning and the car was there. So I thought, oh, let's get it going early. Yeah. They managed to fix up this building after the fire. Yeah. It took a long time, didn't it? You wonder what was behind that fire. It was arson, wasn't it? Wasn't it just that met, met I think something? that's what they were saying. Yeah. Some kind of crazy guy has been setting fire to things. Yeah, he said a few of them. It's, just, it's amazing the damage somebody can do to your situation without, for no particular reason, right? Yeah, well, I think that uh, the other thing was that the, the siding went up really quickly. I think it must be that sort of vinyl right. material that burns. You'd think they'd sort that out by now. Non-flammable materials. I'm hoping that getting in there early today might mean that I don't have to wait forever to be seen. Yeah. Especially on Easter Sunday. Probably not that bad. I went all the way out to the one off... Uh... Helmican? No, even further, like down off the Pat Bay Highway, they're way, way the hell out 
Oh, you know, the sand was, pen. Yeah, well, when I went out there, when I had an issue with my knee from basketball, and I thought, oh, I'll smart them, I'll go out here. The only problem was they didn't have a x-ray technologist there. Oh, so they had so to I send had to you wait. back? No, I waited there until one came in. Oh. So it backfired on me. Well, hopefully they've got somebody on duty. Oh, they will. They will here for sure. So Monday, tomorrow is Boston. Boston Marathon. Is it? Yep. Do we have a race in town, or is that just... Uh, not tomorrow. I don't think there's a ra local race tomorrow. But I stopped racing a long time ago. I enjoy running. I enjoy training. Yeah. But I don't really enjoy running. I mean, I don't enjoy racing. Yeah. I don't see the point. I always prefer exercise that's fun. Yeah. If I can find I know there's this mythical runner's high I keep hearing about and I can see where it would be zen like and you know if you're if you're a runner and you just kind of enjoy I mean exercise feels good, let's face it, right? Yeah, yeah, it does feel good. Once the en endorphins kick in, once you start feeling uh, yeah. that it's effortless. There's that glory zone, the first sort of fifteen minutes. And then it starts to feel good, and then after about an hour, you start really feeling a little bit more tired. Yeah. But for the little while, as long as you don't go nuts, you can enjoy that glory zone for quite a while. When is it? It's not the first 15 minutes, you're saying? It's sort of somewhere it's in the run. I'm after the first 12 to 15 minutes, once your body warms up, yeah. then you can start really enjoying the, the pleasure of running. And most people, they run too fast when they're training. Yeah. Are you a tennis player at all? No, my eyesight's so bad. Really? <laughs> I had to give up driving as well. Wow. Yeah. It's got progressively worse uh, since I turned 60. I used to drive for a, for a living, basically. I wasn't a, you know, a professional driver. I was driving to my clients. I was used to work in home care. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I had to go from one person to yeah. another. How'd you like that? I, I actually have quite a few my customers that I actually take. Like, I know they're doing home care, right? Yeah. Did it's, you enjoy that? It's kind I, of rewarding, isn't it? Well, it, it is. Funnily enough, I, I, I was stuck for a job when I first moved to Victoria in 96. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was a cook, first of all, in Montreal, and then I came out here and I thought this is nice and uh, I started looking for a job as a cook and I was like 50 years old, just coming up to 50 years old and they said no, no, we don't need experienced people here for cooks, we just need them young because yeah. we hire them and fire them so we don't need anybody who wants a full-time job Yeah. and that's what happens, you get to a place where there's only seasonal work. Right. So at the EI place, they said, well, you know, you've been out of work for a year now. It's about time you trained for something else. Nice. So they trained me up to be a home care worker. Did you take that class, like a two-year class at Camosun there? Or? Yep, yep. Super. And uh, I didn't know if I was going to like it, you know. There's obviously certain things that aren't terribly pleasant yeah. about dealing with old people and sick people. But, uh, oh, yeah. In the end, you start thinking, well, you know, I'm being paid to be nice to these people. Yeah. And, you know, within an hour, my job is done and I'm off to the next person. It's a bit like driving taxi. You, you don't have to dwell on the bad stuff. Uh, the bad stuff. Move on. Get Just move right. on to the next one. Yeah. Huh. So I enjoyed it at the end and I did 12 years of that. So I got a good experience from it. I looked into that myself. Yeah. Strangely enough, yeah. I was a poker player for 17 years, so uh, my girlfriend was a social worker. She didn't think too much of me being a <laughs> poker player after. Well, my son is a professional gamer. Oh, really? Yeah, it's interesting. He's trying to get into the into the money rounds, but he's just that short. He's coming in fourth and fifth. Yeah. Not quite in the money yet, but. Uh, 
that's one of those things where it's like for gaming you have to be so obsessed with it to some degree that it's almost not healthy just like if you want to be a great trust champion yeah you know it's yeah, hard to, to start, have balance yeah. in your life right well he, he started playing uh, magic the gathering yeah. when he was uh, i guess he must have been about 12 14 yeah how old is he now 28 okay <laughs> He's late, eh? He's been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Anyway, so I think I should go into emergency. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have to be triaged. Yeah. With any luck, you'll get a ride from here. A lot of people won't take yellow cab from here. No? Nurse was livid. She was loading a hundred-year-old man into my car. And I said, "What's what's the matter?" And she said, "Once we got the man loaded in, she said that son of a bitch over there was a yellow cat there. He wouldn't take him." Well, and, I, and I said, "What do you mean he wouldn't take him?" And he said, he, "He told me it was too much work." Oh. Well, and if you can imagine, what are you doing sitting waiting in a hospital like that? If you get a, a elderly person or a sick person, then he you think he'd be willing to take them somewhere, but. Now, how do I give you $20? Uh, there'll be a fee. If you push OK there, then you can push 180 there. And then the green again will be 20 That's perfect. And then green your four-digit code. You got it. Luckily, your numbers are quite big. I can see them quite clearly. Right. Do you want the receipts, sir? Sure. There it is. That one's yours. I wish you luck. Much. I do. Hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully you're in and out. It doesn't look too bad, but sometimes it's deceptive. I know. Have a good one, man. Good luck with the clip, too. Bye-bye.